it's all entertainment yeah all entertainment yeah so i want us to talk about entertainment entertainment yeah. industry entertainment industry what can you tell us about that oh man this is deep mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> entertainment mm-hmm. industry is very deep mm-hmm. uh one it's meant mm-hmm. to uh keep you busy mm-hmm. doing nothing mm-hmm. so that uh once you're busy doing nothing mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. you never first know the truth mm-hmm hear the uh, read the bible mm-hmm. and understand this truth and the truth sets you free uh-huh. the reason why we have the entertainment mm-hmm. industry so big mm-hmm. is so that people will get busy doing nothing and they'll never know the truth and the truth will never set them free mm-hmm. all right yeah. because if people they have much time mm-hmm. they will read Mm-hmm. they'll dig deep into the their bible mm-hmm. they will sit down and discuss with other people hey mm-hmm. guys uh, what do you think of this and do you think of this mm-hmm. but if i entertain you with uh, 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 music concerts uh-huh. every weekend uh-huh. booze mm-hmm. uh, women mm-hmm. um, I give you all the things that you know and make mm-hmm. them desirable mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. know, football and mm-hmm. whatever call them all types of entertainment games yeah uh, playstations and whatever mm-hmm. thing that you will do mm-hmm. celebrities tiktok whatever if i entertain you with all that you will not have time to read the bible mm-hmm. you'll never have time to dig deep into what mm-hmm. is really the truth finding knowledge finding knowledge mm-hmm. now how they play around this mm-hmm. is that they have known uh, the weaknesses of everyone uh-huh, uh-huh. they know the weaknesses of everyone mm mm-hmm. And they have a slice for every person. All right, all right. They have a slice for you, a slice for me, a slice for you know, a slice for everyone, even children, mm-hmm. all the people. Everybody mm-hmm. has something. Mm-hmm. And uh, they know how to make, to create celebrities. Most of these celebrities are created. Mm-hmm. Created in what sense? Mm-hmm. They they make them famous. Oh, all right, all right. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. The, it's not hard work. Mm-hmm. There's no hard work in those celebrities. Mm-hmm. So they're chosen, they're selected. Yes. That is where yes, they are. those yes. who are down here, they're trying to work Ab- hard. Absolutely. And nothing is happening. Absolutely. Go and do a hit song and tell me if you'll hit. Go do your own movie and tell me if it will even have two views. Mhm. It's no. No, no wonder we really try <coughs> very hard to do things here out there and nothing is happening. Yeah. Of course it, they are, you see mm-hmm. uh true humans. Mm they are attracted by thought mm-hmm. but fake humans mm. they are attracted by the universe of mind and mm-hmm. i'll come with to that mm-hmm. uh, remind me as mm-hmm. i continue in this mm-hmm. topic of uh, mm-hmm. entertainment mm-hmm. now this is what happens mm-hmm. one they have shown you mm-hmm. you have uh, hustled all through in your years mm-hmm. in school mm-hmm you got a good grade or whatever you got you mm-hmm. went and lo- look for a job and you got a job mm-hmm. and you're working for this uh, muhindi some place or whatever nah, you know, i'm using mm-hmm. that as just as an example mm-hmm. eh? and uh, it's eight to five all right the kind of work that you're working you don't even love your job in the mm-hmm. first place you're just doing it for a mm-hmm. living monday to monday mm-hmm. eight to five Mm-hmm. When you come out from work after a long day, you know the the owner of the job is paying too many taxes and so mm-hmm. much is happening. So you are working under pressure because he needs to meet the end goals, mm-hmm. right? The threshold. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. When you come out from work at 5 p.m., mm-hmm. you are already frustrated so much mm-hmm. of what the pressures which are at work. Mm-hmm. So now the next thing that you're going to do, mm-hmm. they have set for you a very nice game. Mm-hmm. which is playing in the evening mm-hmm. man you and arsenal mm-hmm. and is playing exactly at 6 one okay. hour after you mm-hmm. come out from work mm-hmm. so you say let me pass by my local pub mm-hmm. and just watch this game 45 minutes yes. 90 minutes 90 fact. minutes mm-hmm. by the time you watch that mm-hmm. booze was on the table mm-hmm. yeah you know you can't just watch sober mm-hmm. you'll need one or two mm-hmm. booze you understand mm-hmm. then <coughs> 
you take one for the road as you watch your match mm-hmm. by the time you finish watching your match mm-hmm. the match is over but then the music is so loud mm-hmm. and you're like hey man I, let me uh, continue dancing and enjoy that. myself eh? uh-huh. by the time you uh, you kunya your first one second one mm-hmm. they, they have already said your friends have come mm-hmm. you have ordered the you some nyamachoma and whatever mm-hmm. it is eh? and by the time you realize mm-hmm. it's 11 mm-hmm. Okay you need to go home mm-hmm. your wife will be yapping mm-hmm. so by the time you reach home you find uh, you know the children asleep your wife is uh, making a lot of noise mm-hmm. you're there and uh, another noise so by the time you finish up getting into the house and you're drunk and uh, mm-hmm. the, the next day is here mm-hmm. the next day will be the same schedule mm-hmm. and on weekends here comes the weekend is when we have the biggest match Mm-hmm. finals of this finals of that and you have to mm-hmm. go and watch them or there is a safari rally or there is a s- sevens which is happening or whatever thing they'll put you in a position whereby the saturday from friday saturday you know they give you two days mm-hmm. to give you a sense of freedom that saturday and sunday you're free but you're not really free mm-hmm. you're still in their chains mm-hmm. so now that friday or saturday mm-hmm. you go watch your games or you do whatever you have to do sunday Mm-hmm. You have uh, you have a couple of minutes to go and meet your god eh? mm-hmm. briefly mm-hmm. just briefly mm-hmm. and uh, when you reach to the church on a sunday morning with your whole family mm-hmm. you go and meet a false prophet who is going to milk you dry he milks you dry <laughs> and uh, he steals the the last remaining coins from mm-hmm. the bar mm-hmm. and after that one happens mm-hmm. in the afternoon your children are crying daddy daddy we want to go to the mall mm-hmm. you go to the mall with them you you know use mm-hmm. the last remaining coins mm-hmm. and then after that day is done you're there calling hey bro please could you help They've save me with money, 2K? 2k i'm going to refund yeah, end month now you get money. into debts uh-huh. okay every weekend you're borrowing 2k 3k mm-hmm. 5k okay mm-hmm. so you get into serious debts because mm-hmm. of a lifestyle of entertainment mm-hmm. then now this is the picture all through the month by the end of, of the month your the money that you will get first you will have to clear all your debts mm-hmm. and when you clear your debts it's not even enough to pay your houses and mm-hmm. all whatever whatever it has ended in entertainment and here comes your wife her, her game is the, the same weekends we have chama we have all these kind of things happening and end result is she's also in debt like you and both of you because of the peer pressure of people mm-hmm. and all that you have been told that the only way to seem to seem as if you have made it is to go and take a car loan uh-huh. you go and take a car loan and buy your own first pro box mm-hmm. you have it there and it's full of debts and you cannot be able to pay it and then on top of that your wife is crying and nagging you to get a mortgage mm-hmm. my friend mortgage means death the moment you take that mortgage mm-hmm. you're finished now you'll be hooked into debts mm-hmm. hooked into this car loan that you took the mortgage you took mm-hmm. your lifestyle and all these other entertainments and so to soul is performing where mm-hmm. and what is happening where and mm-hmm. and you're hooked to that thing you will never have time mm-hmm. to read the bible mm-hmm. never have time mm-hmm. to run your family in the mm-hmm. ways of god mm-hmm. you'll never sit down and say for sure i need my children today let's read the bible let's analyze what does god have to do mm-hmm. with us mm-hmm. all right you are surrounded by fake entertainment Mm-hmm. which is drop which gives you a small dopamine mm-hmm. into your mind mm-hmm. which gives you a false mm-hmm. sense of enjoyment mm-hmm. you you are happy but you're not joyful, you're, you're not joyful because joyful joy comes from, from the lord mm-hmm. and from mm-hmm. the lord oh, yes, yes, it uh, is an inside thing mm-hmm. which only god can provide yes, yes. but people are just happy mm-hmm. and then now there is a the pressure of social media you look at it and you say wow these people are really happy it's only me who doesn't have an iphone mm-hmm. uh, whatever 15 unfortunately yes <laughs> and all that and then you go and buy and flaunt on social media mm-hmm. install and you come back mm-hmm. again you start square mm-hmm. one you see now the entertainment industry mm-hmm. is said to make sure that you dig even all those players mm-hmm. footballers you see ronaldo oh, you see all that uh-huh. all these people mm-hmm. they have been set there for a purpose that's why they are paid heavy amounts of money mm-hmm. so that they can continue confusing you and actually they are not paid they are part of the game mm-hmm. they are puppets which have been set there by their masters mm-hmm. so that they can entertain you to your way to hell mm-hmm. 
they will entertain you till you drop mm -hmm. and the day you drop down in hell mm -hmm. then your your issue is done mm -hmm. so for those people who wake up from this matrix mm -hmm. and they say okay i think i'm out of this mm -hmm. they start waking up that's why you see most of the people who make it very well mm -hmm. are the ones who have left the cities mm -hmm. People who went to live in the villages and they don't care about social media or whatever. Mm -hmm. You hear, hey, so and so went to live in the village. Now he's a farmer. He's doing fine. By the way, he has beautiful children and mm -hmm. a wife and families. And, mm -hmm. and people in the villages, they rarely divorce. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's true, true. I agree, I agree. Because not that there are no problems. Yeah. But problems because, are there. Yes. But they, they have a plan on how yes. to secure things. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So their lives is a bit different mm -hmm. because they, they, they have learned to understand. Private. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. So that's that's mm -hmm. in a nutshell, that's general picture mm -hmm. of entertainment industry mm -hmm. being put out there, mm -hmm. not only just to confuse you, but mm -hmm. also to kill the moral mm -hmm. morality of people. Okay. If you see some embarambamba there mm -hmm. uh, wearing a skirt and it's a man, and then you, you, you are like, wow, mm -hmm. it's normal. Mm -hmm. You see another Bahati wearing the same, it's normal. Mm -hmm. You wake up, you see a Rikomondi, it's mm. normal. Mm. You it's see Diamond, it's normal. You see this one, it's normal. Then mm. it, it clicks into your mind. Mm. If all these guys are doing this and they are celebrities, mm -hmm. then it's a good thing. It's okay. It's, it's good. a good it's thing. Productive. By the time you realize your son is wearing the same thing because it's a good thing, mm. he gets raped wherever he's raped. Mm. He comes back here. Mm. He is traumatized. Mm. Then now you, you start the revenge mission. Mm. Then you go and rape another person, mm. whatever, so that mm. you revenge. And the whole world becomes mm. a revenging film. Uh, <laughs> and then you keep on asking then, why, why is the world like this? It's because of the things no, that the you're things feeling. That, uh, no wonder David mm, said, mm -hmm. I made a covenant with uh -huh. uh, mine my eyes. My eyes uh, I will not put any vile uh, things, things before, before, my eyes. before my eyes. Because, because I, 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 don't want I don't want anything any to take control of me. Uh -huh. You see? I don't want anything to take control of me. I want to do things in a way that pleases God. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And that is why you see, if if you don't realize mm -hmm. these things, you don't mm -hmm. realize all this is, mm -hmm. a, is a game plan uh -huh. of the devil, mm -hmm. you will never understand. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, mm -hmm. I told you concerning the entertainment, uh, I will tell you about... Universal mind. Universal mind. Yes. Now, listen uh -huh. to one thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. We are two of us here. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to, mm -hmm. if I wanted to influence both of us into something, mm -hmm. I'll just need to have so many other people here. Like we, let's assume we are twenty people in this room, mm -hmm. and uh, something everybody is running outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We will most probably even ourselves run outside, yes. right? Yes. We will wonder, hey, people are running mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll also want to run. Mm -hmm. So now imagine if those people who are running outside, you're the only two who are real. <laughs> the others are robots. <laughs> the others are robots. Mm -hmm. They're only running so that they can create a picture uh -huh. of emergency. <laughs> that is how the world is. All right, all right. Yeah. In so, the world that uh -huh. we're in, uh -huh. only out of 8 billion, mm -hmm. only less than 2 billion are really you like me, you and me. Normal. They're, yes. They're not, not even normality. Mm. The natural. Real, natural humans. Mm -hmm. And I keep on repeating this, but people mm -hmm. think that, oh, you're yapping. Mm -hmm. The studies are here online. Mm -hmm. How many, just go and mm -hmm. Google and check how many people mm -hmm. have the internal monologue. Mm -hmm. an internal monologue mm -hmm. within themselves mm -hmm. internal monologue is that aspect whereby you, you speak to yourself in your mind mm -hmm. how many people speak to themselves in their mind how many people have visions they visualize things in their uh, mind you can see a picture of a house you uh, can see a picture of a tree you when you're sitting your by yourself you when you can close your eyes things, how you many know? people have that mm -hmm. those who have that they're the real humans mm -hmm. the rest dummies the rest, they, they have what we call <laughs> universal mind. Mm. The rest are just there mm. to feel to the feel place. The they are called NPCs, non-person characters. Mm. So mm -hmm. that is why you see most mm -hmm. of the people that uh, influence you into things. Mm -hmm. Have you ever wondered and asked yourself, mm -hmm. how does a lady decide to go naked online? Funny enough. 
online don't you have sisters brothers don't you have your mother don't you have even have neighbors mm. no more are you not afraid come on right. don't you have the natural humane understanding that what even I'm men nowadays even, even men, men. Yeah. you know it, I, I, mm-hmm. I saw a friend of mine yes. on facebook huh, mm-hmm. posted this in fact i thought it was a lady today in the morning i thought it was a lady mm-hmm. until i scrolled down because the the caption i didn't uh even take care reading it mm. but i just had to go down mm. so the last pick mm-hmm. it was a dude dressed like a woman i was like oh yeah i said what they, there's even this dude from mm. nigeria calling himself bob risky my friend if you see him mm. you will not understand he's a he's a dude makeup uh. what 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 the <laughs> hips the everything yes is this a dude <laughs> You know, look at those things and I wonder. Eh? Man, uh, it's true what you're saying. It's very true. The percentage of sane people in the it's world very is very low. Very low. Very sane low. people. Very low. And and I think mm-hmm. we are losing the morality that God had put in humanity. Mm-hmm. And we've allowed a certain kind of system, like even from the beginning of this talk, mm. we've allowed a certain kind of system to mm. take over us. Mm. You know, I saw a clip, I don't know if it was really, uh, they were try, trying to market this famous musician, Tanzanian musician, mm. the current famous music, musician, you know. He was coming out of a car, looking drunk without a, without a t-shirt, with mm. a shirt, yeah. and then he got into this vehicle. Then I asked myself, what was the essence? What was the essence of this? Yeah. What was happening? What was really happening? I left it to that. And most of these guys uh-huh. have sold their souls to the devil. Uh-huh. Uh and they are regretting. Uh-huh. The same same, you know, celebrity from uh-huh. Tanzania. Uh-huh. Uh, of course everybody knows him. Eh? Uh-huh. Look at him when he was starting his thing. Very masculine, very, and very uh-huh. you know, full of life. Uh-huh. Nowadays he, he has a zero f- sense of fashion. He doesn't know what he's doing. He, I think he just looks like a clone. You understand? Sure. Mm-hmm. So now, tell me. Tell me. Just just look at those situations. And uh, The other day I had uh, Lady Gaga. She was speaking online and, mm-hmm. and saying how she regrets selling her soul to the devil. Yeah, I saw, I saw that you clip saw that also. Clip? Yeah. No, it's quite unfortunate to just and get when to people, see. <laughs> by the mm-hmm. way, let me, let me speak about something. Mm-hmm. How do you understand when when you hear someone sold his soul to the devil? What do you think they have done? Expound it, my brother. <laughs> Expound it. Okay, let me explain to you mm-hmm. what it means to sell your soul mm-hmm. to the devil. Mm-hmm. Now, selling mm-hmm. your soul to the devil mm-hmm. is you sell your personality. Your soul is mm-hmm. the real you. Your a soul consists of three parts: mm-hmm. the mind, mm-hmm. the free will, mm-hmm. and the emotions. Mm-hmm. That is the soul. Yeah, true the mind the free will and the emotions mm-hmm. now here comes a musician who is upcoming and i want to make it big and to make it big and then mm-hmm. here comes a, le- uh, a record label mm-hmm. they come and tell you hey salim you know what mm-hmm. uh we are going to do everything for you mm-hmm. uh you'll be a big star we but all we want for you you know they never come like oh we are the angel of the yeah. <laughs> Satan. no 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 they tell you all we want from you is total 100 percent cooperation mm. you have to submit submit mm-hmm. so you have not been told very well mm-hmm. what you're submitting to mm-hmm. but now you're told uh, mm-hmm. you know simple terms ah mm-hmm. uh, uh, yeah now we're uh-huh. going to sign you in this record label uh-huh. and uh, now everything is going to be controlled by us mm-hmm. your music how you're going to produce the music how you're going to release the songs mm-hmm. how you're going to dress mm-hmm. uh we're going to control as they go deeper mm-hmm. is now when you realize even who you marry mm-hmm. will be controlled by them what you eat the food you eat will be controlled by them mm-hmm. you have no free will mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. you have no free will so they control literally your life everything everything the cars you'll drive the people you'll meet up with the agreements you'll make with any other person wh- mm-hmm. who you will marry mm-hmm. where you will stay mm-hmm. what you will do mm-hmm. how many songs you will be able to release what you will eat what you will wear how you will sleep mm-hmm. how many hours you will sleep mm-hmm. now my friend mm-hmm. if you are green to something like that mm-hmm. you have sold your soul okay and now how do they hold you 
mm-hmm. that you cannot be able to come out. Mm-hmm. You see, that's another thing. Mm-hmm. How do they hold you? Well, right. uh, can you can mm-hmm. you just wake up and run and say, "Oh, I don't want." Ah. It's not possible. You know why? Mm-hmm. One, these people are so much powerful and connected, mm-hmm. and they have more money than you. Mm-hmm. So they can do anything to you mm-hmm. if you breach their agreement. Mm-hmm. Number two, they put you in awkward situations mm-hmm. and they make sure that they they have something of you which mm-hmm. can finish your whole career mm-hmm. and everything. For mm-hmm. example, mm-hmm. most of these celebrities, the moment mm-hmm. they have been given, you know, at the first check, mm-hmm. one million or whatever, mm-hmm. and a car and whatever, what they do is that now they think, wow, this is the life. Mm-hmm. And they have a, they have been given a house, they have mm-hmm. been given a car and everything. Mm-hmm. So now, all they will do, immediately mm-hmm. a, a poor man gets one million and a car and a house, eh, is to pick a bunch of women and uh, mm-hmm. now call for a party and, you know, mm-hmm. bring the girls, we have the uh-huh. booze, okay? And then mm-hmm. here at, at uh, the whole mm-hmm. whatever, along... Among is the people, there is mm-hmm. some agents of these guys. Mm-hmm. They spike your drink, mm-hmm. and you do all absurd things that mm-hmm. you ever imagined. Mm-hmm. Probably even do it with even, you know, with boys uh, or whatever. Like it has always been in most, most uh, celebrities. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. instead of even the women, you are, you you mm-hmm. you become a sodomite, mm-hmm. and they have you on tape. Mm-hmm. They have you on. Uh-huh. tape on camera uh-huh. you don't know where the cameras are because the house has been given to you uh-huh. and then now after one two three parties and all that has become a norm you're uh-huh. used to every weekend uh-huh. you know all these parties and uh-huh. you don't know a lot of data is being collected for you uh-huh. and then now you one day they come and call you in a board meeting and uh-huh. tell you now you're here to stay my uh-huh. guy you've eaten a lot of our money uh-huh. and if you decide to go out uh-huh. We will finish you. Mm-hmm. How do we finish you up? We have everything, everything to everything. finish you mm-hmm. down. So, I ah, know you see, you see, okay. Put the big screen up. You see yourself? That is you. You mm-hmm. see you molesting that one? So, this case can finish you. This is a molesting case. You can go to jail forever. This is what, 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 what. And then they're like, oh, okay, now do it. Now cooperate. Cooperate. Submit, Submit. to this will. Mm-hmm. That's why you see most musicians, mm-hmm. they end up depressed, mm-hmm. and some of them, they, they suicide up, themselves, yeah, they, they keep on themselves. crying and say, oh, I want to get out, I don't know why I got into this, mm-hmm. and, 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 they mm-hmm. can't come out, I want to come out, people are following me, this is mm-hmm. and then when, when you decide, oh, I will, I will pray and uh, do, oh, he saved me, mm-hmm. he saved me, mm-hmm. oh, that's R. Kelly, right? Mm-hmm. It's R. Kelly. They get he all of you and... Mm-hmm. Uh, and they re- they rewind some tapes of mm-hmm. things that you did mm-hmm. and they bring them to court and say this guy you see what he did uh-huh no we mm-hmm. need a case we need a against case him. against him so yeah and then mm-hmm. they bring some people to testify against mm-hmm. you and what they what you did mm-hmm. and then well it is true you did them mm-hmm. but then now the problem is you can deny you mm-hmm. did them but then you didn't know it would be this bad. At that time, you were enjoying life. Mm-hmm. But now, you didn't know you sold your soul. Mm-hmm. You can't come out. And and it's not only musicians or mm-hmm. actors mm-hmm. or actresses. Even leaders. Political. Political leaders. I don't, That's call, why the, I don't call them leaders. Yes. I, I, I call them politicians. Politicians. <laughs> and that's why you'll hear them say, oh, my hands are tied. Mm-hmm. I can't I mm. can't say anything. Come on, I have to follow what what I've been told. Mm. I have to, you know, mm-hmm. there's a lot to say. Yes. Yes, yes. I have to raise your taxes. I have to f- f- whatever. Mm. Mm-hmm. Because my hands are tied. How why are they tied? Because there are things, there mm-hmm. are agreements that you made. Mm-hmm. And those agreements you can't get away from and them. You have to fulfill. You it. have to fulfill them. Mm-hmm. Don't think they these guys are usually dumb mm-hmm. or deaf mm-hmm. that they don't understand that they are what they are doing, mm-hmm. even what they are doing to the people. Mm-hmm. They understand, but then their hands mm-hmm. are tied. They don't know what to do. They sold their souls to the devil. They sold what the their minds, mind, uh-huh. their free will, and their emotions. The emotions. 
That is the soul. Beautiful. They are mixed up. They mm-hmm. don't know what to do. They don't have their own mind anymore. Mm-hmm. They don't have their soul. Mm-hmm. You get the point. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. I think in conclusion, eh, yeah, we can talk about education. Mm. You know, there's so much about uh, what is going.